Greetings. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Stream Rolled. Uh, we're picking back up in Nota after our intrepid bunch of seafaring heroes have finally found a port with more in it than fish monsters that simply want to kill them. Um, after our last adventure involving the portals and the Deep One, uh, the Deep One was abandoned at the temple to be banished back to his own homeland after transferring over a little bit of lore about the creation of the Storm Sea, or Storm Water, as, we, as it's known in these parts of the world. Our adventurers have decided that they're in desperate need of some coin, as well as some warm beds and hot food, and decided to head over to a little place called Flooded Clam, upon recommendation of a local priest. When they arrive in this particular building, it's not overly busy. There's two uh, customers and a very dapper looking gentleman behind the bar. Uh, well, come on, you two. It's time to see if we can find a bed. Uh, by the way, uh, what gold have you got on you? I don't think I got much. Let me take a look. That's a... Uh, that, that's a bad question. Got uh, 25 gold stone. Uh, well, that should see us for a couple of nights at least. Yeah, if well, you're uh, I mean, we need willing to. Uh, we don't have to really sure. worry about drink, do we? Uh, um, maybe don't mention that to the bartender immediately. Some of them okay. get a little, uh, little funny about it. Yeah. Sure, Sorry, be a clerics. Well, we'll we'll see. We'll see how he uh, how he seems. I may be able to trade it for some some uh, some free board, you know. Uh, but if not, and he finds out, he may not be pleased to have me in the premises. He may think I'm just going to give everyone free beer, which is the way it should be. But you know. <laughs> Anyway. Then. Okay, so swinging open the doors to the bar, um, you find two gentlemen. One who appears to be a halfling and another who is fairly you know, well built and, he and heavily armoured and they're debating whether or not it's worth going back to the Undercity to try to claim the reward. Um, the barman greets you and goes, Ah, customers! What of my fine... Luxurious beverages and warm beds can I avail you of today? Well, um, we need uh, beds for the three, and uh, preferably a warm meal, and uh, a round of drinks. Uh, how much would that come to? Oh, let's see. Just a one night you want to stay? Uh, for now, it may be more. All right, so two silver a piece if you're happy to go settle for the common room, or if you want uh, individual rooms, that would be one gold each a night. Mm. Uh, what, what, what do you two think? That's I mean, really Ishmael, it's, it's your gold. To me, if uh, you want a little privacy, it's I we have been together sleeping uh, close proximity for quite a while. I wouldn't mind my, my own space. Mm, I may need to remove my underwear with fire. I have nothing I, that. Um, perhaps then, given your underwear situation, um, we'll call it Three gold and two silver. We'll feed you, batch you, and I'll even throw in um, a spare a spare pair of clothes we've gotten the lost and found. Well, that's uh, mighty generous of you. Uh, I'm inclined to take his offer. I'll, I'll put four. So you put the coins down. Right, so you put the coins down on the counter and you kind of 
counts them up and returns your change back to you. And he goes, Aye. Name's Robert, by the way. If there's anything you need, let me know. Dinner will be served in about an hour. Um, we've got something special coming over tonight. We've had the good fortune of some lamb coming into the sea. So we've got a stew being put on. If you're interested, there's a jobs board at the corner. Uh, might be able to solve that problem that you have with the lack of coin. Ah, well, good suggestion. Uh, any uh, any uh, tips, by the way, on uh, you know good potential employers? Well, the markets are always looking for runners, but judging by your attire, I'd say you are more the adventuring kind. Um, those of you who don't no, want to take of a sprinter. <laughs> those of you who don't want to take the freelance jobs, uh, I'd recommend head over to the Blackfield Company, see if they got any work looking for them at the moment. I understand um, some Sildir fella. Um, he's looking to have people move carts around. You know, relatively easy work if you don't mind walking. Uh, well, we'll uh, give it some thought. Uh, for now, uh, I think we should check out this. Uh, you know, this notice board here is right here, after all. So, wandering up, the, no the notice board is a bit. I, in, in all right, ways, go ahead. I've never seen anyone who mentioned their underwear actually have something come out of it and not be bad. Um. Well, quite. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's not going to be pretty. Let's I'm just put it that way. It. I'm fine to not hear about it either. <laughs> well, you brought it up. I mean, um, that's fair. Anyway. Well, what about these jobs, then? So, on the wall, there are a couple of things. There's a ship in town that's looking for some crew. It seems they want to head all the way through the Tarbatane Straits, come out on the other side. They'll be leaving in three days. And it seems someone named Jigger McCall... Uh, he wants a gnomish puzzle box, and he claims that there's one in a small part of the Undercity, about half a day's travel from his, from the town. Uh, he's offering 300 gold if it can be collected safely. Uh, this one here about this uh, gnomish puzzle box, uh, this looks about the right speed. You know, 300 gold would give us enough to get, well... Pretty much anywhere we please on the coast of this, uh, you know, stormwater, and uh, and you know, see us safe in our travels for a good while after. I think, uh, I think that's a good bet. You know, it's not far. No, I think you might be right about that. Hmm. Maybe we should see if we can. Uh, Secure a little more assistance. There must, there must be a few, uh, you know, free radicals in this port who uh, want to make a little gold too. I think where, where the three gold? of us, mighty though we are, are maybe, maybe a little under-equipped to just venture into the Undercity. Where there's gold, there's going to be people. Why? Well, but we don't want to meet them there, or there'll be competition. We want to, you know, find our allies here, and then all go there together, you know? Aye. Hmm. Borum's gonna cast a, a sort of eye around the inn at the, you know, the various patrons to see if any of them seem particularly adventuresome. Um... The two gentlemen who are already here seem to be quarrelling about whether or not it's worth them risking their skin going back to the Undercity. Uh, Carlias, the oat singer, um, he seems to be very dismayed that the last trip he went on resulted in him coming home with a broken loot, and he's in no hurry to go back. Whereas Gorbel says, I know, I know, 
you lost your loot and that that's where all of your you know magical fingertips come from and all that but we're down to six copper um we need to do something rather shortly otherwise we're going to end up having a sign on with the blackfields uh, company and they don't always go well i heard the first thing they make you do is go fight spiders and i lumen hate spiders Was it um, quiet not elven man sat in the corner of the room as well and dark hair nice robe seems to be quite intelligent and dignified in his manner it would have been a bad omen to bring the two yelling about not wanting to go back. Hmm. Although, they might have some useful intel. I say, Rashida, why don't you use your, uh, you know, womanly charms, see if you can get some information out of them. Why don't you um, explain to me exactly what you mean with womanly charm, Barum? I'm very curious. You know, yeah, your keen intellect and uh, persuasive arguments. Good save. That was about to end badly for you. <laughs> she's just gonna walk up a bit to them and just kind of lean against the table here. It's gonna go, hello, gentlemen. Um, I heard you mention something about the Undercity. I'm sorry for peeking into something that I might not be invited to, but I had to check. I, it's not a secret. It's not a, it's not a secret. He's a little bit hiccupy. Long and short of it, we went looking for that job for this Jigger fella. Figured anyone whose name is Jigger would know how to have a good drink after we'd celebrate it. But by the time we got down there, it's a little bit further walk than it says it is. It took us about a day and a half to get there. Now, that might be because of my companion's rather short legs, but it's neither here nor there. Uh, yeah, the place is crawling with undead things, and I tried to do my thing and play my little musical instrument at them, but it didn't really seem to be doing a great deal. I kind of wonder whether or not I spent all of my gold on a loot that wasn't a magic loot. Oh. Do you know anything about how bards manage to make music hurt people? Because generally, all I manage to do is make people annoyed. And then it hit me. Well, it sounds like he's accomplished what he set out to do. I whisper quietly to Ishmael. I mean, I mean, listen, I mean, if you annoy people, that still, might still, you know, drive them away. It's not a total loss, but you mentioned undead in general. So what kind of undead are we talking? How many? Uh, well, we got to the second door which i might add is in the fort room and by that point we'd seen three ghosts and a shadow that tried to eat my face and we decided it was time to go away would that shadow by any chance not want to go into any sort of light that was cast yeah as soon as we went outside they stopped chasing us Okay. Didn't mind going into our torchlight, though. That's... So your torch was found by not... Okay, that's... That's interesting. So... What were you actually looking for down there, if I may ask? Puzzle cube. Treasure. Uh, wine! Interrupts the little halfling man. That's a good thing to look for, my young man. Old wines worth money. You can buy more new wine for one bottle of old wine. It's a great deal. A businessman. I like your style. He's gonna have a cast and a wink. Well, I tell you what, our venture wasn't exactly the most successful thing in the world. With any information we might be able to give you, I would be more than willing to do for your... How was it your companion put it? Womanly charms. Oh! Uh, Don't do us, Barum. You know... So, uh, that's... Um, I kid, I kid, I kid. You are... You're... you're, you're I, I kid, I kid, I kid. If you can't you tell, 
I, I tend to like women who are shorter than me, and you're about three of me, so... Don't let that stop you, young man, in the future, but uh, perhaps not with me, I. Not a problem, not a problem. But regardless, is there any questions that you think that I, who have seen the inside of this place you seem so determined to go to, may be able to answer? Hmm. Well, I suppose it'd be perhaps something... If, was there anything about the layout there that was, you know, particular? Something of notice? Any traps or anything? The thing I thought was most unusual was that a great deal of the room still seemed tended to. All old and decayed and damp and rotten, but tidy and almost as if somebody is making the undead clean their house. They just don't do a very good job of it. Well, that's regular pet things, apparently. Um... Alright, well... If there was only there was only the ghosts, yeah. That's all we saw. Hmm. There was nothing from the outside that was giving any warning about the ghosts. Was there anything saying anything about the ghosts at all? You mean like a big red sign with lights around it that was saying "Don't go in here because it's haunted"? I mean, no, sadly, not like that. Those signs are usually not put up, uh, unfortunately. But there was anything else that. Anything for well, boarding? I, I, I tell, I tell you what. If you manage to make this three hundred gold, maybe you should put up a sign so nobody else goes into it. Mm, we'll see. I'd even paint it, but no. Um, we didn't get to read any of the books. Uh, my companion here made a lot of noise with his loot, and there was a lot of howling and some banging, and something went. Uh, uh, and we decided it was time to run away. Alright, well, I can't blame you for that, young man. Um, I, don't think I must I say, I, I like you. I haven't been called young in 93 years. Well, I'm glad you do. I'm, I'm, I'm always afraid of making someone feel a little bit better about themselves. Well, we'll be here. Or we'll probably be at the Blackfield Company hauling carts. But we'll be in Noda sometime soon. So if you don't die in the hole full of dead things that keep moving, then come back and we can all have a drink. That's a deal. Luckily, I'll be able to tell you what actually was in there instead of just the ghosts. Solve the mystery, yeah? Oh. I don't think it's a mystery. I think they're ghosts. Not that mysterious about ghosts. Some people even spend time talking to them. Personally, I, I, I don't think I'd really like it. Not particularly in the whole ectoplasm thing. Too sticky. Um, yeah, no. Um, sure. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing that people did, but I guess you learn something new every day. Well... Ask the wizardly fella in the corner. Maybe he knows more about fiends and ghosts and, I don't know, these book-learned people normally know things about the macabre and the undead. That's not a bad idea, actually. Alright, well, uh, ho hoping that we don't fall to our bitter, bitter demise when we enter the, uh, the cursed depths of whatever the hell that, that is, um, I will hit, take you up on that drink. And we will Aye, we'll be here, or we'll be carrying the court, or we'll be, we'll be driving the court, but we'll be back eventually, and I will, I will hold, I will hold you to that at some point in the near future. Good lad. And she's gonna uh, walk up and relay any information that Ishmael and Burn didn't uh, catch, and then she's gonna nod her head towards the uh, wizardly person, and he's gonna say, perhaps we should actually, you know, ask him. In here, why well, we couldn't? Yeah, no, a wizard may well tip the balance in our favour, so to speak. Although <clears throat> I would caution that uh, wizards are often toying with uh, powers they do not fully understand. But uh, as long as they toy with them in the right direction, then uh, no harm done. <laughs> Alright then. Yeah, uh, you there. Um, 
Mr. Robes and brooding presence. What? Me? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I couldn't help but, uh, notice that, uh, you, you appear to be of the wizardly persuasion. That, that would be, um, a good assumption of you, yes? Uh, ah, well, um, actually it was pointed out to me, but, uh, you know, once it was, it, it did seem fairly obvious. Um, I was just wondering, are you interested in uh, making a little coin? Well, I would most certainly am. Ah, well... We have, uh, we have a bit of money problems, you see. Yeah, I was sent out to, uh, to retrieve some books for the academy I work on, but they forgot to give me the coin pouch with the amount of gold needed for the purchase. Ah, well... We, too, have fallen on somewhat hard times. We were, well, captured and then shipwrecked, and uh, we've basically washed up here with little more than what you see us carrying. In fact, nothing more than what you see us carrying. That is um, quite unfortunate, actually. Ah, it's, uh, it's quite the story, but uh, we may have uh, had our fortunes change, so to speak. Um, there's a job on this notice board um, that we noticed that, uh, you know, we could go and fetch this puzzle cube and make 300 gold to split between us. And I know 300 doesn't go into four very easily, but uh, I'm sure we'll work it out. Well, it's quite easy once you calculate it. It's not any more difficult than any other, just uh, subtract, subtraction. And... But in any case, it, it um, seems a very interesting venture. Venturing ah, well, forth to find a uh, puzzle cube, as you put it. Well, that's what it said in the uh, in the advert. Um, if, you, if it helps you make up your mind, you can uh, meet my brave companions. Yeah. Uh... Elden gets up and all walks up towards the party and introduces himself. Greetings. My name is Elden Alaint. Pleasure to meet you. Ishmael, Holystone. Meet you. Well met. I'm, uh, I'm Rashida. Rashida. Right. Are you kind, sir, who so um, generously invited me along on your job? Oh, uh, I'm Borum. Uh, they sometimes call me the Brewer. Uh, I'm on a, a mission from the Brewer Sterry, uh, far to the north over here. Um, I'm, I'm to uh, make a brew fit to serve the god Anseeth himself to prove uh, my worth as a, a cleric of said holy beery majesty. That is quite the quest to go on. Well, Mr. Borum, Mr. Ishmael, Miss Rashida, it will be a pleasure uh, working with you for this adventure. Possibly many more, who's to say? Well, it depends if, if we're on time for my ship back to uh, my hometown where the academy I work on is, then I might go for that. But if I happen to miss it, well, I guess I'm stuck here for the time being, so I might as well stick with people who I can trust. Where do you hail from? from? No, oh, no, sorry, go ahead, Rashida. You don't sound too torn about missing your ship, eventually. Uh, I'm overdue a few vacation days. Ah, but mm. mm -hmm. It's more like they haven't given me my vacation days yet. You know how it is within the schooling systems. I don't, actually, but I'll take your word for it. Well, then. Pleasure to meet you all. Oh. Ah, it's always a pleasure meeting new friendly faces, eh? By the way, where was it you hailed from originally? Well, that, that doesn't really matter. It uh, is, uh... Okay. 
I don't know or enough about them. Remember Pokemon. this. <laughs> Look, as, <laughs> as, as, as a player, I can say I, I purposefully left my the backstory with names fake since okay. I don't know everything about the world yet. Yeah. So, so I would say, yeah, let's say, let's say Canon, because Canon is the capital, and that's where the biggest mages guild are, and you're a wizard, so that would oh, make sense. Then I would say, uh, well, I, I'm from Canon, the capital. Oh. Well, that's uh, that's quite convenient, you know. Can it might not be a bad place for us to head when we're done here. Although, oh yes, it might uh, be an I, interesting place. I might even get us room and board at academy if some of the dorms are indisposed. But that is for then. That is not for now. Oh, well. But since you introduced yourself so freely, Mister Borum, I am Evocation Wizard, second class at the academy. Uh, much obliged. Uh, and I'm sure your skills will come in very handy on uh, our upcoming adventure. Um, I certainly do you do have any so. business you need to attend to in, in town? Well, besides purchasing, actually, what I was sent to purchase to further add to the library's collection at the Academy, not really, no. Well, I'm guessing we'll need to uh, conduct this uh, business with the gold getting before you're able to do that. That is exactly what I was thinking as well, Mr. Borum. Mm. All right, then. Um, well, I suppose uh, if it's all the same to you, we could definitely do with a hot meal, a bath and a rest. It's been quite the week. Um, but if we, we can head out first thing in the morning, if uh, that's good with you. That's quite all right. I already had my deal of food. I just need to rent a room still. We'll do that in a quick little bit. Or, um, now that you mention it, we, uh, we might, before we bed down tonight, early in the a.m., try to pick up some uh, tools to help us, if we can. I mean, Rashida's still got her ore, and I've got a rusty sword. It's not going to be that much against ghosts, I don't imagine. You fought with an ore and a rusty sword. And oh, that was temporary. Uh, I do actually have a sword now. Desperate times call for desperate measures. It would appear so indeed. I mean, I myself, uh, I've become somewhat attached to these, uh, you know ancient weapons of war that were oh, cast yeah. in my uh, path. Uh, I, I, I actually uh, think before we bed down I might take a pop over to blacksmith and see if he can just, you know, clean up this sword and give it a shine, give it a sharpen. I also have a dagger if anyone would like it. I don't really need it, I just brought it along with me just in case. I am willing to part with it if anyone would benefit from it. Um, well, you may end up needing it, but um, I don't know, Rashida? Oh no, I have uh, an or a sword and uh, also a dagger and also a bow, which I'm not that great with the bow. You do know that, right? Ah, uh, well, you did yeah, well you enough. Did. Yeah, you did pretty good against the skeleton. Alright. Well then, then I'll, uh, I guess I'll be keeping the dagger to myself. Right, we should all have a little something, just just on the off chance we need it. That is quite so, but I, I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Not to toot my own horn, horn or anything. I studied quite hard for them. <laughs> I'm not sure you did. Just, uh, you know, try not to set any of us on fire while you're at it. As a uh, evocation wizard second class, I think I can avoid setting any of you on fire as long as you stay out of set fire. Ah, uh, sometimes it's easier said than done, though. <laughs> I make a habit out of staying out of fire, but yeah, Borum says sometimes it's unavoidable. I suppose we won't freeze to death at least. Oh. <laughs> I don't like that laugh. Don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just I making am. friends today, Rashida. I am. Um, my apologies, I am not that good in social settings. No, you're 
fine. That was just terrifying. <laughs> yeah, save that for the uh, you know the hordes of undead. You can chill their bony hearts. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Looks uh, looks to the side very dejectedly, like fucked up again, didn't I? <laughs> so it's about time that we, uh, as you so delicately put about him, burn the underwear with a blowtorch. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not quite sure what this blowtorch you speak of is, but oh no, uh... it's it's actually what's, it's pretty fascinating. It's a torch, and then people they have this pump in front of it, so they pump the fire. And I don't know why they do it, but they oh. always do it. Oh, <laughs> like, like some sort of portable blast furnace. Oh, that is quite Almost. a contraption. I, it doesn't seem very effective, but... I have s I've seen some of these contraptions down in Canada, but most of the forges use um, arcade fires provided by uh, the mages there. They burn slightly hotter, you see. Makes it more um, efficient. Well, maybe you can remove my underwear then, Elden. I am entirely unsure if this would be appropriate behavior of conduct, Mr. Borum. I will politely decline your invitation to this. I can hand you a towel. Don't worry about it, Eldon. He doesn't buy it. He might, however, make the bath turn into alcohol. I am not... No, no, thank you. No, no, no. No, no thank you. No, no beer clerican in my inn. <laughs> oh, you ruined it for me. <laughs> I don't have a problem with you guys staying here, but it's my job to get my customers drunk, not yours. Well, you know, if you uh, if you want me to turn a barrel of your finest water into a barrel of my finest beer, then I'd be much obliged, you know. I'd even send a courier out to pick up an item or two from the blacksmiths for you. And you do three barrels, and we'll call it even. Uh, well, I think, I'll, if I I'll understand correctly, that would take you three days. We've had a few. You're from the Brewestery, right? Ah, yes. A few See of your that. lot come here on their, um, what is it they call them? Festival pilgrimages. Ah, well, that's, uh, yeah, I suppose. Um, well, I mean, I'm, I'm more than willing to, although uh, I will have to take a day off uh, in the middle uh, because we've got some business outside of town. But I can do you one barrel today and then I can do you another two when we come back. Aye, that'll be a fair trade. Um, do you need anything particular, or just a bucket of the finest nearby water I can find? Uh, no, just the the water is fine. Yeah, so you're gonna tons off and seems to speak to one of the stable boys who are outside and sends them off and uh, Tabaxi, kind of like four foot nothing, kind of tabby looking Tabaxi runs off, followed by. Quite a tall but distinctively still a toddler, uh, Colossus, who just so happens to be at the same height of a man. Um, they would sprint down and maybe five minutes or so come back, and the tabaxi is sat on top of the keg that is being carried by the colossal toddler back up, and it's plunks down in front of you and it goes, Can we see the magic, mister? Are you going to make it beer? Uh, absolutely. Stand back. Mm -hmm. Oh, my dear you get God. too close, I might turn your very blood to beer. That is one colossal toddler. <laughs> or maybe that the maxi hanging out with all the water. Well, no cats don't normally like to swim, but when you when you live on an island, you don't have much of a choice. But we'll stand we'll stand back and let you do your thing. Oh. With that, um. Sort of Borum stands in front of the uh, the sort of the, the the keg of water and and he raises his hands in a in, you know in, in like a position of supplication and you you hear him sort of muttering to himself like some prayers of like uh, uh, you know he's, he's asking for you know 
uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, obliteration. <laughs> you know, oh, Lord Ansys, we, we wish to forget our troubles. And, and it gradually gets louder and louder and louder until he sort of plunges his hands into the water, at which point it sort of bubbles and froths up. And, and as people sort of lean in to look, and he takes his hands out, it's just a big keg full of fresh, like, bub- you know, frothy beer. And it, it looks lovely. And the smell of, like, sort of yeasty goodness, and, like, fills the whole room. While Borm was doing this, Elden was secretly Hi. casting mage light around him to make it look more mystical than it already was. <laughs> All right. So you cast, and then Robert comes up and he goes, "Aye, I'll tank you, and we will call this against one of those ca- uh, one of those casks of beer that you said you'll make for me. So I can arrange to have um, either two weapons of your choosing, or a suit of basic armor brought across from yourself. But I would ask for the next two that you make that you have a bath first. I didn't realize you were going to put your hands in the beer. Although judging by my current two customers, they probably won't notice." <laughs> Trust me, it'll only add to the flavour. And, you know, if you drink it within, uh, well, well, roughly an hour or so, um, might have some uh, interesting additional effects. Well, I can't say I'm too... I'm too perturbed to try dwarven ale. He kind of scoops it out with a bucket and he starts kind of drinking it quite stiffly. He goes, aye, it has a very distinctive hoppy undertone with this very slightest hint of potato. Have you somehow managed to put a little bit of vodka into the bottom of this? Uh, Well, I can't speak for what was in the keg already, but uh, uh, no, you're probably just detecting the the flesh of some fish creatures that we were fighting and it's probably just stuck under my fingernails. Gags. I'm not going to ask any more questions, but it, it, it definitely seems to be having an effect, so I will attempt to sell these beverages to as many people as possible in the next few hours. What do you want me to send for you from the black, from my good friend Franklin, our blacksmith? Well, I myself am fairly well equipped, but uh, uh, what about you two, Ishmael? Do you fancy some armour? No, I mean... I probably could do with something kind of light. Uh, definitely need my sword worked on a little bit. Oh, give it this way. He kind of puts his hand out to take your sword from him. You just already said you're going to stay tonight, so we've got... Uh, he kind of looks out, looks up at the clock, and he goes, probably six and a half hours left till sunset. Um, I reckon Franklin will be able to get it knocked together. Would a Set a padded armor, do you? And then we call it even at that. He owes me a few favors, you see. That would be quite nicely. Aye. So he takes the sword from yourself and hands it rather gingerly to the Tapaxi, and he says, Don't run with the sword, but go and have it cleaned up and sharpened and get it brought back here in the morning and then to your room and board paid for for this evening, all right? little child kind of scampers away. He's, he's not gone ten seconds and he's already running off with the sword. <laughs> As you do. Well, hopefully it's so blunt he won't actually do himself serious on. Stop, so. Aye, they are precocious little creatures, but he is nimble and dexterous. If he does fall down, I'm sure he'll end up landing on his feet. They always somehow manage to. But, regardless, is there anything more we can get you? Would it? If not too much longer, I'll be able to get you that hot meal. Uh, ah, well, I, I think uh, we'll just uh, wait for that meal and then have that bath, I think. Yep. It's all the same to uh, you. Yep, I agree. I'm nothing to argue against there. Okay. I'd just so... like to book a room as well, good sir. I do you want a private room, or would you be happy to go into the commons? T- 
private room, please. Just one gold piece for the night, and then that will cover you for your dinner this evening and your breakfast in the morning. Quite all right. I, I walk up to the bar and I hand him one gold piece. Thank you very much, sir. Um, you will be in a double room this evening, but there's not going to be anybody sharing with you, so you will we'll make sure you get private use yourself. And you are in good fortune tonight. You should get a good night's sleep. Um, Carlias has lost his loot, so you won't have to listen to him play. That's a Was he really that bad? Oh, um, yes, he is astoundingly awful. I mean, I... He, he, he is almost talented in how terrible his music is. That, that is indeed quite bad. I think he would get along with Lorbuck. Lorbuck? It, it's an orc that I met once. He fancies himself uh, a singer. And does he have that stereotypical orc kind of grossiness to his songs and they all sound a bit like I hold a shabber, I hold raid and pillage, I love let's go murder a village. Something like that, not as eloquent, but close. There's more I guttural will. throat noises as he can't produce the syllables properly. I'm I'm passing Carlyes a silver and asking him to give us an a cappella version of his latest escapade. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, I can't quite turn down an invitation to sing now, can I? We may so be good. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Do we always sound running through the trees? I see what you mean. I think Lorbeck might be more talented than this person. I never thought I'd say that in my life. My god, if there was a way Perhaps to take we... your loot and break it all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we could find a way to weaponize them and use them on the front lines of the war, and then hopefully the orcs would stop invading uh, Tarbotain and just go back to wherever it is that they're attempting to escape from. Most likely, just... Do you think sound would have that much of an impact on them? I've seen a bard, an actual bard, who was able to play his flute and it made a zombie's head explode once. Rather interesting day. Hmm. Seems rather interesting. <laughs> but uh, in any uh, matter, thank you for the room. I will go speak with my newly acquired companions, I think. Get to know each other a bit better. Comrades in arms, as they say. That's what Not they say, problem. right? I've gone ahead and I've put uh, bats in each of your rooms, and you will find a small heat stone on the bed. Simply tap the heat stone with your hand when you're ready to use it, put it into the, into the bath, and it will warm the water up in about 10 minutes. All right. Thank you. I step away from uh, also, the counter. Yeah. Yeah, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Um. Who should I go speak to? Um, uh, Elden uh, walks up to um, Ishmael. And uh, he says, uh, Well, uh, Mr. Ishmael, or Mr. Holystone, if you will, it's uh, quite an interesting uh, predicament we found ourselves in. Aye, well, that's not the half of it. You you weren't around for the uh, the first part of the journey. No, uh, of course I wasn't. I was on a different ship. It. Um, I am glad I was, however, spared. I used something about fish creatures and washing up ashore. And that must have been dreadful. Uh, you want to know how I got this scar on my neck? I uh, that oh. be from the hag. A hag. Oh yeah. 
Oh, such awful creatures. We were afloat for quite a few days, running very low on rations, when uh, what we thought to be a merfolk came up asking for our assistance. Told us that a child had been taken. We got up onto the island, just besieged by all manner of fish folk. And then, the last instant, the hag just reached up and grabbed my throat and practically ripped it out. Hmm. I've never heard of the Sahagin being this organized or aggressive before. I've, in all of my time studying, I have not come across any of this. It's quite peculiar. Nasty. Um, yeah, usually I've, I've never really seen them be organized, but I uh, know. Strange waves in the sea. It was that sea different. hag, you know. She was riling them up. She must Using have been. some dark magics. Definitely something going on, but there wasn't really much to uh, piece together about. Enough about that, per se, but where do you hail from, no, I'm, Mr. Uh, I'm from Alaron. Alaron? Yeah, oh. it's down there. If you're familiar with Neverwinter, it's a bit south of there. I've never been there myself, but yeah. I've worked with some uh, people who came from there. Oh, I have. Yeah, I, I could go on for hours singing the praises of my island, but, uh, I mean, it's one of those places you gotta go to to get the feeling of. A lot of merchants, but, uh, it's got some really idyllic areas. Keep that in mind. I'll put it in my little notebook of the places I still have to visit. Someday. Yeah. Good. Yes. Well, I, I think I'll be heading off to my room a bit early. I'm a bit tired. I, yeah, <sighs> I definitely need a bath and uh, sleep that's not on stone. It's All been right. a pleasure meeting your acquaintance and. Uh, and hopefully we survive tomorrow. <laughs> I most certainly do hope so. <laughs> A pleasant evening, all. Okay. okay, head off to my room. Which room would that be? Uh, any of the four with a bathtub in it, but it did any say that yours was the one with two beds. All right, this one, I presume. However, gentlemen, and our dear lady Kay, uh, that will bring us to the <laughs> that will bring us to the end of this evening's session. Uh, for those of you who are watching us on Twitch, uh, we do always record two episodes in a single session on Tuesday night. So we will be back in ten to fifteen minutes, where we will take up with our dear compatriots again and find out what they've done on their following morning. <laughs>